Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to get a foretaste of what algebra is about. Notice that we have four equations on the board. Equations are things that have a left side, a right side, and an equal sign. And an equation means that the left side equals the right side. Now notice that all four equations have the unknown variable x. And also notice that the unknown variable x's are only on the left side of each of the equation. And on the right side, we have a set of numbers that are added or subtract, no in this case, or simply add it together. Now let's simplify both sides of each of the equations and see what we get. On the left side here, we get 3x plus 6x is equal to 9x. That is equal to 15 plus 3, which is equal to 18. Now here, we're going to try and what we call solve the equation without actually going to the algebraic principles. But think about it. 9 times an unknown number is equal to 18. Now you have to ask yourself the question, what times 9 gives me 18? And then you realize 2 times 9 gives you 18, which means the unknown number here, x, must equal 2. If x is equal to 2, then 2 times 9 does indeed give me 18, and so therefore that is correct. Let's try the second equation, see what we get. 12x minus 4x, well 12 minus 4, that's equal to 8, so this gives me 8x. And on the right side, we get 16 plus 8, which is 24. Now we have to ask ourselves the question, 8 times what unknown number gives me 24? Well, I know that 8 times 2 is 16, but 8 times 3 is 24, which means the unknown number must equal 3, x equals 3, because 8 times 3 gives me 24, and that's therefore the correct answer. On this equation here, let's add up all the numbers on the left side. We have 5x plus 7x, that's 12x, plus 8x gives me 20x. 5 plus 7 plus 8 is 20, so we get 20x is equal to 14 plus 26 gives me 40. Now we ask ourselves the question, 20 times what number gives me equal to 40? And then I realize if x is equal to 2, 2 times 20 is 40, therefore x must equal 2. And that's the correct answer for that one. And here on the last problem, on the left side, we have 7x plus 18x, that's 25x minus 10x, is equal to 15 plus 30 is 45. And 25x minus 10x is 15x. And so that must then equal 45. So now you ask yourself the question, what number times 15 gives me 45? And then you realize 3 does. If x is equal to 3, 3 times 15 is 45, so this is the correct answer. And that's what we do in algebra a lot. We end up with an equation that has the unknown variable in it, and somehow we have to solve for the unknown variable. What value for x makes this a correct statement? Now, these were fairly simplistic equations, but yet we still have to go through some work, and we have to try to figure out what the unknown number was. Later on, when we take algebra, then we actually go through various techniques of how to do that in a very systematic fashion. But at least in this example, you could see what we mean by an equation and what we mean by solving the equation, looking for the value of the variable so that the left side equals the right side. And that is what we did in this example.